Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Life Law and Lessons. Today I want to talk to you about something that occurs in all trials. It's called the burden of proof. In a civil case, the party that brings the lawsuit is called a plaintiff, and he, she, or it has the burden to prove its case. In a criminal trial, it's brought by the prosecutor on behalf of the people, and he or she has the burden to prove its case. But the levels of proof required in a criminal and civil trial are totally different. Let's talk first about the criminal trial. The burden is upon the prosecutor to prove that the alleged criminal, the defendant, committed the, the crime beyond a reasonable doubt. That's the highest degree that must be proved. That's the highest burden of proof placed on anyone. And it only makes sense because you really want the prosecutor to have no doubt to prove their case before you go sending somebody to jail or fining them or punishing them under the law. So that's the highest level of proof. It's beyond a reasonable doubt. And to top it off, juries in criminal cases have to be unanimous verdicts. Because if one person disagrees with the verdict, then that person probably had some doubt. Then you can't, you haven't met your burden of proof because you didn't prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. So that's one of the bookends. It makes sense that you want to have to really prove your case in a criminal matter. At the other extreme is civil cases. And in civil cases, the basic standard is called the preponderance of the evidence. Now, it's not beyond a reasonable doubt. And jury verdicts in civil cases don't have to be unanimous. The number of jurors to agree varies from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. But what is the preponderance of evidence? That's when you have, let's say, the scales of justice. And they're in a vacuum and they're evenly balanced. And if you take a feather and lightly place it on one scale, that scale will ever so slightly tip in the area where or in the favor where you put the feather. That's the preponderance of evidence. And if you prove your case by a preponderance of the evidence, you win in a civil case. A whole lot different than beyond a reasonable doubt. It is the lowest burden of proof, and you don't have to have unanimous verdicts. Juries don't have to be unanimous in their verdicts. But there is a third type of in the middle sort of burden of proof, and it's called clear and convincing evidence. Clear and convincing evidence is in civil cases when they want you to prove your case by more than a preponderance, but it doesn't have to be beyond a reasonable doubt. In other words, you're claiming someone of, for example, fraud. That's a pretty severe accusation. So instead of just a little bit tipping in your favor, like the preponderance of evidence, you have to prove, prove it by clear and convincing evidence. Now, I'd love to tell you what that is. All I can say is it's more than a preponderance, but it's not beyond a reasonable doubt. It's basically up to the judge to decide. So, in every case, whether you are filing the case, you're a plaintiff, or you're a defendant and you've got defenses, you've got a case to prove, and depending upon where you are and the type of case, you will have a different burden of proof. Until next time, so long as you have a passion for learning, you'll never cease to grow.